<laughs> you guys remember when <laughs> Apple put out a desktop that was a cube? Mac Mini? Yeah. No, wait, wait. Right, back. So? It, it was like a power yeah, PC I'm... tower, oh, but it was a cube. Oh, oh. I think that was. Wasn't that, I thought that was a Mac Mini. Mm -mm. Are there like 90% sure on... that was a Mac Mini? Are there prices yet on the new. Um... I don't like those prices go up like the day of, right? The yeah. day they announce stuff. Oh, Dylan says the G4 cube. Yeah, that's it. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. A guy. I think I heard a guy. So yeah, I'm also interested in Evita, um, the play Evita. Uh, I'm also interested <laughs> in a PlayStation Vita because of all those, those rad indie stuff that's that's coming out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But it's, it's gonna have VVVVVV on it. I own that game. Gordon. They announced that at Gamescom, and I own it twice, and I'll keep buying it. Like. I can't imagine playing that game in anything. any scenario where I would be on like playing a portable gaming system. I'm already not great at that game. No, dude, that's like, what I do on flights. Like that's I have what my style savvy is for. No, I don't. I don't fly very often because of being poor. <laughs> so that's also uh, what style savvy is for. What are either of you talking about? Being poor, style savvy is for being poor, yes. and you know, the clothes you can't afford to buy. Yes, <laughs> I promise that is ninety percent ah. of what I like about style savvy. Oh, right. Phil, you should get out of that room. There's totally a dude in there. That's I think you saw. <laughs> Dylan says PS Vita, home of all the PC games you played oh, one to five God. years ago. <laughs> kind of. True. It is kind of true. But I still really like it. It's a great piece of hardware, like just build-wise, it's great. Ah, the Dodge, the Dodge. I don't. I think he's gonna find you in there, Phil. Oh, nice. Ah. He juked him. Way to juke him. <laughs> this guy has a lot of trouble getting through doorways. He's really broad. You just built that way. It's his body type. Yeah, don't don't body shame him. I think it's interesting that this game, that will, with all the hiding in lockers that you're doing, this game is basically Metal Gear Solid. Yes, this is a prequel, accurate. right? <laughs> this game takes place in in 20x6, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> one of the Jordan, one of the uh, Ludumdare games that you I think was one of the ones you recommended. God, which which one was it? Chaotic says this game is a lot more Metal Gear Solid than MGS5 is shaping up to be. <laughs> yeah. Go was comment it? on the Kotaku post, Archaotic. I'm wasn't close personal friends with Archaotic. I, I'm about not to treat him like shit. Wasn't it the pro one that was 20x6? Oh, maybe it was. There's, there was one game, uh, George, that was like 30x6. So, like, they don't know what decade it's in. We know it's in a 6, and that's the best. <laughs> Yeah, I feel this guy's still totally yes. coming for you. Yeah, oh, he's gonna see you in that place, dude. Maybe. Check the locker right next to me. I'm okay. Yeah, you'll be fine. Oh. You know what this reminds me of? Did you guys ever play Clock Tower? <laughs> you watch yeah, people play Clock Tower? We, yeah, we watched. Yeah. It's, uh, it's the same kind of deal where you have no ability to defend yourself whatsoever and whenever scissor man finds you the game turns into this uh run and hide like cool. wait really super tense waiting game and i never played any of the ones after it but the first one was very good that's really cool well, wait when you say the first one do you mean like the the first one in the u.s right okay because the first one in japan was actually like a snes game or something was it really? Yeah. 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 That's yeah. yeah. Weird, that's, that's the one. Weird, oh, those are the ones. Those. That's the one that Janine and I saw. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Oh. I thought that one was called Clock Tower. It that is. is called Clock Tower. But it I was think Gordon's talking the about US. the PS One one. Uh, yeah. Are you yeah. sure? Was it released in Europe then? Because. No. Are you... I'm gonna you saw this. An English version of that game. There's like an English, yeah. like a like a fan. Oh. Page. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. That game is really cool. You should check that out, Jordan, because it's. Um, like it's it's an SNES game and it's a side-scrolling SNES like adventure game. You're basically just the mansion and all that, um, but it's actually really good looking. Like it, it's it's really well, saying, well drawn and well animated. Like, wow, yeah, this is really pretty. 
Yeah, there are some really good animations. That's anim my skirt movement. Mm -hmm. Also, it's based on some sort of Swedish film, it turns out. Like, really, really closely. I just did something really racist and I shouldn't have. Um, or not racist, but like really reductionist. Um, I don't know that it's a Swedish film at all. I've just picked a place in Europe. <laughs> I know it's based on a film from Europe somewhere. I thought you were going to say that you had tried, you'd tried to find it in Google and you typed in that one Swedish film. <laughs> or something. <laughs> That's close. It's like how whenever I try to think up, uh, whenever I want to know if it's that Italian. new... Okay, thank you. Um, Basically, the it's same. Yeah, Jennifer Connelly. Right, it does star Jennifer Connelly, who is who is really attractive. Um, but the movie is set in the Swiss countryside. Oh, thank. Uh, that's Switzerland. That's not Sweden. Um, well, that's, it's that's all the same. Word. It's all the same. It's a swa. It's one of the swas. This game looks gorgeous, though. And in 1999, they released a port of it for the Wonder Swan. Oh, that's the version. You're talking about the original. Um, yes. Game. Yes. Yeah. Um. Yeah, there was Speaking Clock Tower home. in 1995, oh, no. and then, yeah, and then Clock Tower in 1996, which was called Clock Tower 2 in Japan, yep, right. and then Clock Tower 2: The Struggle Within in 98, which was called Clock Tower Ghost Head in Japan. What? And then wasn't the like PS2 Clock Tower game like really fucked up and not anything like the others? Um, I think so. I want to say yes. And then they released Shin Clock Tower, and that's what became a uh, really beat em up, right? That's, that's all going on over there. There's... He's expelling his ghost. That was his ghost head. <laughs> Archaotic <laughs> just made the same joke a little bit more directly, and I hate him. This is not looking good right now. Are you drugged? What's happening? I just hurt real bad. Oh, that's a bad place, Phil. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. I don't. See, here's the thing. I think you could take that, dude. I what? But you're not a fighter. We've been over this. Yeah, I. You're a lover, I think not a fighter, and I don't think he's gonna sit around and wait for you to find your poetry book. I don't. Know that. Yeah, what it, he's a really good poet. He memorizes his poems, Janine. He's a showman. <laughs> Jesus. What if there was a survival horror game where you... Well, I guess that's Typing of the Dead. Have you guys seen Elizabeth, I Elizabeth uh, Simmons's... Have you guys seen Elizabeth Simmons's oh, Typing of the Dead uh, posts? Illustrations? The... Illustrations, yeah. Thank you. Oh, no, Brought. not yet. Oh, really oh, cool. oh, well, so that syringe didn't even look like it had anything in it. It looked like he just stabbed you with it. <laughs> Can you? Well, that's even worse. It's an arrow. Yeah. The wall the hey, bro. The Maybe less like lip liner and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> out of this place. The professional He's just like, just... Accept Look, here, come on. here come those jerk off corp all guys. Maybe they'll help. What? That's That doesn't seem right. The ghosts got them. I'm gonna be honest. That video recording seems mm -hmm. like a cheap way to make a video game scary. Just oh, and then the models go crazy. Mm -hmm. They're all over the place. <laughs> Fob washed in chat says, "Here, watch this trailer for Fear 3. <laughs> uh, sorry, for Threer. For Threer, right? Three -er. I can't wait for the next one. For four. Four. Yeah. <laughs> For four. For four. It's For gonna four. be a good game. Your character has a stutter. It's 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 just groundbreaking. This uh, <laughs> Melding Blake says points at monitor. You see in there? In there is where we record the Gary's mod. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, there's a lot of crazy person graffiti in here. Yeah. He did not kill his enemy. He keeps his poetry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I have these notes. I didn't notice these before. Benny. Yeah, this is Benny. This is actually, one of my complaints with this game is I wish that when you picked up one, when you got notes like this, 
and then two, when you picked up documents, they just opened up immediately. Well, I mean, you press a button to open them, but I didn't realize it was... I guess when you are recording stuff with your camera, he will yes. sometimes make notes. Yeah, and I wish that... I don't know. I wish it was a little bit more... Not in your face, but like I wish it was more clear to you that you've been getting those. What's your character's name again? Gary. Mile, yeah, Gary Miles Upshore. Giles... <laughs> Guile, Upshore and Murkoff. Miles Prower. Upshore and Murkoff sounds like a cartoon law firm. It does. Oh, Miles <laughs> Prower. Miles Prower. Just got yeah. it. Oh, Phoenix down. Did you guys get that, right? Did you not? This is, this is one of those things that I didn't get for years. Yeah, it took me a long time to realize what Phoenix Down actually was. I was like, down from what? Like, in comparison yeah, I to didn't, what? I just thought it was a weird Japanese phrase that you translate that. Well. Phil, do you get it? Yeah, I get it. How would you not get it? Because I was 12 and didn't really, like, because when I heard that phrase for the first time, it was, You're like, it was next to things. And stuff. I didn't, I probably didn't have a great understanding of what down was the first time I played a Final Fantasy game. Like, um, I, I thought, like, oh, my guys hey, are down. What's up? How did, real close. Oh my god! Did Allie just get Miles Prower? I think she I think just Allie just Miles did. Prower. If it makes you feel better, I was like 21 when I first got Miles Prower. Have you seen this? That's yeah, that guy is just not dancing. He's just dancing. He doesn't care. Just dancing. <laughs> I think me. that's Tom Waits. He's dancing. <laughs> oh, she didn't get Phoenix down. Yeah, yeah, see? He thinks I went away, but then... <laughs> Stop peeking, Phil. Uh, sorry, I'm recording myself peeking. <sighs> Uh, <laughs> Allie says, I knew Miles Prower, okay? I like Tails a lot. <laughs> Melding Blake says he has internal dubstep going on. It's pretty good. Wait, what, what is happening under that bed? Father Martin's man. What? He looks nervous. I would like to kill him. I didn't see it. What was it? The Discarded flesh. Don't worry about it. Oh, well, if they're discarded, then that's okay. Maybe they, they weren't doing this. Okay. God annoys. Oh, always. God always. They kill him slow. Freddy and Flesh. And liver, they are yours. Do you guys think that games like this uh, encourage a negative stigma towards people with uh, mental disabilities? Yeah, I, I actually made that, you know, so when Janine and I were talking about this game the other day, I made the comment that I'm more scared by fiction with, and what I said was with crazy people than with, than like monster things. Like I'm more afraid of Texas Chainsaw Massacre and the family and that than I was mm -hmm. of Jason or something. And then I immediately said, fuck, that's kind of fucked up because it, it, it really vilifies and, and reduces a marginalized group, which are which are people who with it moves with it moves a group of people I mean, who are but, ill and have like you know sure. it. It's I, a I don't thing. think it moves them into the realm of the evil and the horrible and the right. monsters. I, wonder, like, I, 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 think, read, I think to some degree, like I think there there is some some level of understanding amongst people who like horror fans, for example, who would be watching movies or playing games that take place in, a, in an asylum. I think there is some level of understanding that this is not what asylums are actually like. Yeah, but that's not what the, you know. I mean, you, you could say the same thing about damsels. Sure. Right, exactly. But I don't think, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm saying this as somebody who is uh, technically classified as uh, having a mental illness. Mm -hmm. um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I personally don't feel if, too worried about it. Phil, I, I still think the board is out on whether or not Pokemania is officially a mental illness. <laughs> Listen, the doctors told me that it qualifies. Um, if this is the thing that you're listening to and are interested in, um, check out uh, Mikhail Foucault's Madness and Civilization, and then probably Discipline and Punish after that, um, where he goes into depth uh, about Ooh. the history yeah, of Madness. Let's be the single, the, the stream on Twitch that tells people to read Foucault. That's, fucking, <laughs> that's exactly yeah, that's what, what I, I want. We are this that is street. what I bring to the table, guys. Uh, oh, here, are, here are some dick jokes. Also, let's go <laughs> read Foucault. Okay. Oh. Fart, fart, fart. <laughs> <laughs> Deconstruct all universal structures. Like, fucking, yeah, this is what we do. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. Dylan points out these are more like torture victims than just crazy. I think that like comes into play in the story eventually. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm also, sure. there is for those who are interested in that and who you know who would love to see games doing a more balanced view of uh, of asylums. There is like an upcoming game jam focused specifically on that issue. Oh, cool. Um, I, I think it's just called the Asylum Jam. It is, yeah. Totally. And it's specifically on. Uh, um, it's specifically a jam devoted to making games that have a, uh, a healthier, more realistic view of, um, of mental health in general. Uh, I think that's a really great thing, but like, this is terrible, but that's, that is going to be a bummer of a game jam, y'all. Sure, <laughs> like, yeah. That's alright. And it, you know that's... That you can't, like... Yeah, I'm on board, like... Yeah, I guess uh, all I'm saying is, like, I'm not of the... I, w I would definitely not be of the mindset that, like... I totally think it's worth discussing, um, but I'm not mm -hmm. of the mindset that, like... Oh, man, they really made a mistake by setting this in an asylum. Oh, no, I mean, that's all like, like... You know that yeah. that's... It's, like it's I said just earlier. one of those things that's like you you kind of want to unpack it because it's such a yeah, common sure. thing. That's, that's it's like it's really fucking good everywhere and it has yeah. been for everywhere for a long yeah. time. And why is that? And again, as, fact, as as somebody yeah. who's uh, technically classified as having a mental illness, <laughs> it's, it's not so bad. You guys try it like, out. Uh, no, <laughs> I I wouldn't even say Janine or you said Phil. Um, you wouldn't say that they made a mistake. I, I think what I'm actually saying is, in fact, they didn't make a mistake. They're making the the decision that they, of course, would make, given the given a history in which madness is portrayed in a certain way, and that sure. in which it's fiction, an easy like, it's not a mistake. Everyone recognizes it right away. In a lot everyone of ways, it's not even a choice at all. It's just it's just the way we function in, yeah. in society, and it's not the way we always function. That's this isn't what madness had always been in, in culture. It's, it's interesting. Anyway, dick jokes. Um, and sad games. Oh. <laughs> I'm excited for, for um, that jam because I think, especially this year where we've had games like Depression Quest come out, um, a lot of people hopefully have been inspired to talk about their own experiences with mental health. Mm -hmm. um, and I know a lot of those people, I hope a lot of those people will see that there is uh. a... Lumberjack Bonanza says, America doesn't have therapy, though. It's nightsticks or sedatives. That's <laughs> that's not true. That's, uh... I'm not gonna say that, uh... There are not problems with... With, uh, America's approach to mental health, but... Shut up! I think that's maybe... <laughs> maybe not Step, accurate. Yeah. Maybe taking especially, too far. Especially giving it a context when there was a time when that was more true than now. Sure. <laughs> like, especially given the fact that there have been great strides, uh... In in oh, tip, everyone should be listening to Sawbones. Everyone should be listening to Sawbones. It's an amazing it's podcast. I love yeah. that podcast. It's, it's Justin really Mecca and his wife. Um, they're, his wife they're really adorable. Yeah, they're adorable. Uh, they have good chemistry. Yeah. It's not their first podcast together. Really they have good chemistry because they're they married. Have good chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like a just a bad bad thing all around. Bad all, yeah, totally. So, Phil, how do you know which one of the... How do you know who is a danger to you in this game? Because there's people all over the you place. Don't. Exactly. Um, that's, that's why it's scary. Like that's part of the... Uh, yeah, that's part of the... Really, I got stuck on that. That's part of the horror of it. Part of the, the terror is that there is no way of... Uh, no, I don't... Uh, wrong, wrong locker. Nope. Oh fuck. Jesus. No, that guy looks kind of like um, the bad guy in Men in Black 1 that was played by what's it, Vincent Tanafi? Sugar water. That's right. Yeah. Wow, that's good. That was gross. You practice that? Don't or? ever do that again. Yeah, that's rough. <laughs> Not a fan. Uh, Dylan in the chest says. This is pretty much what journalism is like, right? Yes. Uh, like this happened at least at least at the Square Enix pressure, right? This is every Ubisoft press event I've ever been to. That's not too far off. <laughs> <laughs> so Phil, what 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 are buttons. you? How many? I have to hit every button. So what is your Later. what is your goal oh, right uh, now? 
running past dudes. I think escape. If I remember right. Yeah, I mean, the goal, I think, is just... We literally entered, and pretty much from the moment we've entered, the, the goal has been, hey, you should probably get out of here. Shit's pretty fun. I thought the goal was to collect enough batteries to power your game gear for the car ride back home. That seems accurate. Oh, need a lot of batteries for that. That would make this game so much better. That would it? Oh. Be pretty good. You could play Tales, Tales Adventure. Tales Adventure, yeah. There it is. Joke-like in the suppression of our desires. Hey guys. But now, now. <laughs> Fobwash says this is at least a, a level three pressing yeah. fuck maneuver. Is it, are these guys <laughs> naked? Is that a penis? Is it? Oh, yeah. Zoom in. This game did yeah, have a nudity a warning at the beginning. It did. It's not. In, in fact, it's like a, it had... It's not a good-looking <laughs> penis. If it is a penis, it's kind of a. Don't judge. Sorry, whoa, I shouldn't whoa. laugh at that guy's tiny Phil? weird penis. Oh. It's a pretty fucked up penis. Oh, <laughs> whoa! Is... Hey, hi, hey, dude. <laughs> is there? What happens? It's just his head is really funny too. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait. You mean like? <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Just like. Oh. Hi. Forgot that can I? Why can't I edit this title to say "Let's play Outcast"? Outlast. Let's play Outcast. <laughs> They're pretty good. Let's no. just put, Let's put out a playlist. I wish that Outcast was on the the soundtrack for this game. Me too. <laughs> Let's play Outlast, Dick Jokes, and Foucault because we just very naturally found a dick joke. Yeah. I don't even know if that was a joke. It was just we, we found a dick. <laughs> you guys seem to think his dick was a joke. Well. I think that. Far be it for me to judge, but I think dicks in games are so uncommon that they are immediately laughable, and that's weird, but still funny. That's a uh, that's how I know shit's about to go down. I think there's Saints all Star sorts 4. of dicks in games. Have you played Call of Duty Online? <laughs> oh, hey, nailed it! Like a like a dick. Everybody, never mind. Proper purge gate maintenance is oh. Purge gate. Operation Purge gate. You have Nicolane to open, says. At this point, you have to open the drawer, and there's a false bottom, and then there's a letter in there from the <laughs> uncle. Oh God! Don't. <laughs> yeah. That home was really good, you guys. I I didn't realize how much stuff I missed until I saw a lot of it on single frame video game. Here's the thing that I'm gonna really? say. Should... I'm not allowed yeah. to talk about about the new amnesia right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to say much, mm -hmm. but I want to say something. And I'm, not, I'm going to say this, I'm not going to be able to clarify it all until next okay. week. I'm going to take a chase. Yeah, it's the best kind of statement, one that you can't elucidate on at all, until next you just week. have to sit with for a week. Uh, until I love Monday you. of next week. <laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> I love you and I'm hanging up. Uh, no. Amnesia, a machine for pigs reminded me more of Gone Home than it did of the first Amnesia. That's really interesting. I'm excited to hear more next week. That's, that's really Polygon.com. Yeah, I'll read that. I bet we're never going to hear about it next week because that <sighs> Bill's going to get that teleportation ring and just yeah. get caught. And, it's gonna and, yeah. and then it's going to teleport him to this place. To this place. Yeah. This, this is a true story. Thing. This is actually the fifth time that Phil has told us this, and it's a secret message, and we're supposed to figure out what went wrong and save Phil, but so far we haven't gotten this. Phil, are you a looper? Are you looping right now? What loop are you on? I can neither confirm nor deny that I am indeed looping right now. Are Did you, you young Bruce Willis? Did you hear uh, Ryan Johnson oh says God. his next... The movie's gonna be a cyberpunk film. I'm really excited. Uh, what happened? Uh, I like Ryan Johnson a lot. I like his movies in general. Me too. Whoa, hey, Ooh. buddy. Ooh. Ooh. Yep, that's. Hey, dude. Cool. That was just a good death. Was it? Uh, that was a good death. Bob washed in the chat said the first two thirds of Gone Home was scarier than when I played it last. The first two thirds of Gone Home was very scary. Yeah, I agree. See, I, I didn't, I wasn't freaked out by Gone Home at all. Um, I think if you know in advance, there's nothing to be freaked out by. It's not as bad. Yeah, I but still, they, they're I knew very, that was still. They're very <laughs> Bill, much you're in a shit on. place. Yeah, that was not good. 
Uh, you can play on a lot of the conventions, the music and the atmosphere and the, 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 all those things that you expect in a certain kind of game. Yeah, God of definitely they use them. Like there are moments that, that creeped me out. Yeah. Um, I just heard him on an IGN podcast, Steve Gaynor, um, one of the leads on the game, and he said that the um, all of the sound effects are are they're not like keyed to time. There's no triggers. There's no like, oh, you walked into this room, so now you're going to hear this creak. So, one, everybody got different versions of that. Mm -hmm. Um, and two, like if you like, there are plenty of times that I felt like I walked into a room where I was going through one of the passages, and I thought I heard someone behind me, and that is just your head playing tricks on you. Like there isn't, there isn't that none of that's intentional when it happens. I think it's you have to jump out the window. Pipes make sounds. And, yeah. <laughs> nice job. Find the window that doesn't have a dick in it and climb in that one. <laughs> That's just good life lessons. I these guys are really uh I think they're like wait, just a moment. I like that they're like well spoken psychopaths. That's, I think that's exactly me too. I can't hear their voices. Are their voices like what do their voices sound like? They just though? sound totally like pretty pretty normal dudes. Morgan Freeman. Okay. I think darkness is a more effective terror tool in video games than anything else. Like, um, especially especially in first person games. Like that's why I couldn't play Amnesia. That's why I couldn't play. Right. Um, uh, yeah, I don't even I like it when it's Jesus. dark in Skyrim. Yeah. And I'm like a fucking like, super god in that game, and just, I don't even... I talk about it a lot, but like, the knights in Dragon's Dogma are one of my favorite things in that game, because so it's so rare in an RPG that I feel afraid that it's nighttime. And oh. that game, at first especially, I feel like that. Yeah, there was a lot in Dragon's Dogma that filled me with dread, but mostly it was just playing Dragon's Dogma. Uh, god, you're really... About Dragon's Dogma with <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> there's, there's no way that guy's dick can fit in this air vent. You're fine. Just stay in there. Whoa. Yeah, you need to get out of there. Ooh. So I have a question, Phil. Um, does being a journalist give you the ability to heal yourself over time, yeah. or...? Okay. I'd wonder. Journalists and, uh, soldiers. So there's the two classes? Ew. Not This is, this not is like chill. that scene in Tomb Raider. Right, That's yeah. gross. So does that mean that that room has exploded that many times before, and this is the pile of bodies from people who have been thrown out that window by that continually exploding room? Just over and over. Actually, those are all of Phil's other time travel bodies. Oh. It's, um, what was the name of that game that came out recently? Looper. Close. <laughs> oh, that one that Rush. Oh, God. Yes, that one. Uh. It is the er or something. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion. The game where you help oh. you. Oh god, no. it's out of there. <laughs> that didn't work. That did not work. Uh, what were you to kill me. yourself a billion times to solve puzzles? Um. Ah, uh, Swapper. 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 There it is. Um. Close to Looper. Uh, rave time. I don't, I'm afraid to get out from the expect. Guys, I really do. Fob watched this 999 Virtues Last Reward. I want to play those games.